Hi folks, Dane here and welcome to my December book haul. Let's see what we've got. I've started with this one here, which I'm pretty sure I know what this is. But we'll open it up anyway and see. Aha, very cool. It is what I thought it was. Does it come with a bookmark? So this is A Murder to Die For by Stephen Colgan. And uh, Stephen Colgan is a writer friend of mine. He spoke at a writer's workshop that I used to organise read a few of his other books as well. He's mostly so far kind of done non-fiction stuff and I think this is his first fiction book. It's certainly his first detective novel, which is very exciting. It's uh, blurbed as well by Sandy Toxvig and Stephen Fry because he works as a researcher on QI, the TV show, and those are obviously the two hosts of that show as well. And what's cool about this book is that it's produced by Unbound, so Unbound are like this kind of innovative new publishing company where you submit to Unbound and then if they accept you, you then have like a fundraising round for your book. So I pledged to support this book so that I could get my copy and I believe this is a uh, pre-release copy. It's copyright 2018, so that's cool. And my name is in it somewhere as well. So I think this is kind of a sort of a farcical entertaining detective story and uh, the blurb goes When hordes of people descend on the picturesque village of Naisley for the annual celebration of its most famous resident, murder mystery writer Agnes Crabb, events take a dark turn as the festival opens with a shocking death. I have a couple more parcels that I accidentally forgot. So there is this one. Now, I don't know what, I think one of these is a Christmas present for my girlfriend. So if it is, that one. I might not be able to speak. It is. This is very cute. So that's that one. And then I think this one is something that I bought for myself. So this is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, which I just bought because everyone talks about Illuminae and like it's special formatting and stuff. Sounds pretty cool. So just looking at it now, it does look very cool. Um, so I'm gonna read it and see what I think. It, it could go either way though, because I, I might end up feeling like they just did it for a gimmick. So it depends whether I feel as though it actually adds value to the storyline or not. But um, shout out to, I think it was What Cass Read who reviewed it and made me buy this. I don't know, I'll try and remember to link below. So yeah. Hi folks, I'm a little bit hungover today because it was the Young Writer of the Year Award ceremony yesterday and they had free wine. But I have some books that came in the post. So, you know, let's do this. All right, let's start with this one. Hang on a minute. What is this? Is this a... I have received a Christmas present. <laughs> it is a book, though. Hello, I'm so happy to be sharing 12 nights with you. I've always held the opinion of librarians for their... In what? They think I'm a librarian, apparently. I'm not. They think I'm Todd the librarian. It's a really nice... It is a very nice letter here. I'm just baffled. All the best, Ruth. It's from someone called Ruth, but I don't... Ruth, reveal yourself. It's come with a little, oh, this is quite cute. It's come with a little business card for Willow de Wisp Gent and Philip R.T. Gibbet Gent removals. So I guess that's something to do with the story. I think I might keep this then and just open this on Christmas. As it's wrapped and stuff, I guess, why not? All right then. Thank you for the Christmas present, Ruth. This wasn't how I was expecting this un unboxing or whatever to go, by the way. All right. These, these have just been sent slightly more normally, I guess. This has been sent by Modern Books. Oh, now this is beautiful. I guess I asked for this. It's got, this is Literary Wonderlands, a journey through the greatest fictional worlds ever created. And this is, uh, general editor is uh, Laura Miller. And as you can see, it's a beautiful little hardback. It's uh, £25 the RRP on this, and again, I'm not sure if I asked for this or if it's just been sent. There you go, you can see the spine there, just about. And um, yeah, this is a kind of a guidebook to, you can even see in here, it's got a lot of the different books listed. So it's a guidebook to all of these different areas. Here, on the back, I'll just dip into a few. You know, I'm going to go randomly, I think this might be chronological or close, but you know. The Divine Comedy, The Tempest, Alice Adventures in Wonderland, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, Brave New World, The Cthulhu Mythos, The Moomins in the Great Flood, Gormenghast, Lord of the Rings, 1984, Ring World, The Dark Tower series, Neuromancer, His Dark Materials. I mean, this is some good she's. I'm really excited about this, actually. It looks super cool. Just flipped in at random and it's Ursula K. Le Guin. So again, 
I didn't buy this, and I maybe I asked for it. If I did ask for it, I didn't realise it was going to be this massive hardback. But this is beautiful. I'm, I'm quite excited about this. Then there's this one. Holy fucking crap. I just tore that open. There's a bloody cracker in here. What is going on? Why is it... Everyone's obviously doing their Christmas gifting. This is QI, favour and favour, 1,423 QI facts to bowl you over. Now again, I definitely didn't ask for this one, but they have sent me some of these before. Um, big shout out to Stephen Colgan as well, whose new book is coming out soon, who is uh, one of the writers for QI, writer researcher. And um, yeah, he's one of my writer friends. Well, I don't know whether he had anything to do with this. <laughs> And there's a cracker. Christmas crackers were originally called bangs of expectation. So I'm going to save, I guess I'm going to save this cracker to go with this random book. I'm sure I didn't ask for any of these. I'm sure people have literally just started sending me random Christmas presents now. But thank you publishers. I've got this today and I know exactly what it is. It is a uh, graphic novel by an independent graphic novel author. Her name is Elaine M. Will, and uh, she lives in Canada, although I met her when she came to High Wycombe. She actually spoke at a writing workshop that I held back in the day. And this is Dust Ship Glory by Elaine M. Will. In the Depression era of 1930s Saskatchewan, Finnish immigrant Tom Sukanen battles the dust storms, drought, and all common sense to fulfil a dream of building a steamship, the Santianen to navigate Canada's thousands of miles of waterways to make it to the Atlantic and back to his spiritual home of Finland. So again, because like I said, she's Canadian, she lives in Saskatchewan, and so um, they write quite a lot about this. Her partner is a chap called Mark Allard Will, and he writes stuff as well. So he writes he writes the best superhero name I've ever heard, Saskatchewan. Very talented lady, very cool. Really nice aesthetic in all of the uh, in all of her graphic novels as well. Like it's just a good quality graphic novel. And uh, indie authors aren't necessarily known for the quality of their books. No offense to my fellow indie authors. I mean, I spend quite a lot of money on my books to get like professional cover designers and layout and all editors and all this stuff, which not everybody can do, of course. Um, but Elaine is one of the few indie authors that I know who's like her quality control is unbelievable I mean her and Mark own Cuckoo's Nest Press which is the publishing house that published uh, published this and I mean in my mind the quality of this is just rivaling Random House or somebody like that you know they really show that you can be small and indie and still do a good job all right well apologies for the slightly odd angle here this is what happened to my tripod it like snapped off somehow so the rest of the tripod is still here with the camera on top. It's just the camera normally secures onto this bit, which is quite an important part. In the meantime, I've got this from Wordery. Let's just fire this over there to drive my cat nuts. Ha ha! This is Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. I picked this up after, well, I mean, obviously it's huge on YouTube and I've heard loads about it anyway. And then the new film adaptation called Love, Simon is coming out. And I've seen a load of people do kind of reactions to the trailer. So Kevin, Irish Reader and Alyssa from Pucks and Paperbacks, both huge fans of this book. And just from the way that they talk about it, it makes me want to read it. And obviously it's an LGBTQ book as well, which I don't necessarily read a huge amount of. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to reading this. I'll let you know what I think. I got a few books. Let me do this. Okay, so first of all, you may remember that I got that Christmas present in the post. Yeah, my, my cat decided to wipe his bottom on the Christmas present. So I unwrapped it so that I didn't have a poop covered Christmas present under my tree. <laughs> so beautiful cover though. This is Andrew Zercher, 12 Nights. And I believe it's it's like a 12 nights of Christmassy kind of story and it is a very beautiful book as you can see however I had a look on uh, Goodreads and it's had three reviews and two of them actually no, the best one was a 2.5 star review from someone who DNF'd it and then the other two were one star reviews I think so I'm not I don't know if I'm convinced about this however I will read it I'll see how it goes and then these two are ones that I got from the book exchange at my local pub, so they allow you to, you can make a donation to charity and take one of the books, basically. So I made two donations to charity, and I got 
the first school degree pleasant book by Derek Landy. Shout out to Graham Quigley because he mentioned this on his channel a little while, little while back. I've actually read like book five or something. Actually, I think it was the last book they sent it to me. So I read that. <laughs> but um, yeah, might as well read the rest of the series out of order, I guess. And I also augmented my Peter James collection with Need You Dead, which is a Roy Grace crime novel set in Brighton. And I uh, I like this series, and I like Peter James, he's a nice chap. Okay, well it's past Christmas now, so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get any more books before the new year. Famous last words, I may well do, but it's only a couple days to go. I didn't get any books for Christmas, which is probably a good thing. I always ask not to get any books for Christmas because I'm so picky about my books that when other people buy me books, they buy me the wrong books and it stresses me out. However, I did buy this for myself from a little garden centre that we went to. So this is, why does my cat squeeze into boxes and over 40 other curious feline behaviours explained? Who's it even by, does it say? Michael Powell. There we go, this is by Michael Powell. And uh, yeah, I've already started actually. It is quite interesting, but also funny at the same time as well. I'm learning about you, Biggie. I'm learning why you do weird things. And then I got this in the post, and I think I know what this might be. It is what I thought it would be. So this one is for Todd the Librarian. I bought a copy of Midworld by Alan Dean Foster. And it's not a super long book as well, so I'll probably read this one quite soon. I'm very excited about it. Alright, we've got some parcels, and I'm pretty sure I know what these are as well. But Okay, I'm going to start with this, because I'm pretty sure I know what this is. And I believe this is by an indie author. The reason I know what this is, is because uh, it was expensive to get delivery, but it was free on Amazon Prime, so I got my girlfriend to Amazon Prime it for me. So I know what it is, because it arrived almost immediately. <laughs> And not addressed to me. <laughs> this is Hindu Sex Aliens by Larry Weiner. So this is the third book in the Island Trilogy. So the first book is called Paradise Rot. The second one is called Once Again with Blood. And now we've got Hindu Sex Aliens. And basically the plot kind of follows what happens when this company sets up this exotic destination. And in the first book, Paradise Rot, unfortunately zombies happen to be there. In the second one, Once Again with Blood, unfortunately vampires happen to be there. So I'm going to leave it up to your imagination as to what happens in Hindu sex aliens. And this next one is a massive one. Haha, <laughs> I'm excited! I've wanted this since it was announced it was coming out and for some reason I've been late to the game and haven't got around to it. But this is Philip Pullman, The Book of Dust Volume 1, La Belle Sauvage. So this is the, um, well it's the new book in Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials series effectively. So that trilogy was my favourite trilogy of all time and I cite Northern Lights, the first book in that series, as my favourite book of all time. And this is basically, he's launching kind of a companion, tril companion trilogy that kind of runs at the same time as it. And this is the first book of it and I'm just super excited. And look at the beautiful hardback. Oh, it was worth paying a little bit extra for the hardback. Oh, I feel, feel like I might cry. This is why I didn't buy it yet, because I figured I'll be so overwhelmed by emotion. Well, anyway, at the time of filming, it is about 4pm on Saturday the 30th of December. So I'm guessing no post on Sundays unless the owls come. So that's pretty much it. I, I'm not going to get any more books until the end of the year. So with that, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, leave a comment to let me know if any of these books take your fancy. And in the meantime, I will see you in 2018 for more book hauls, more book stuff, more wrap-ups and books. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.